Hey guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media bringing you another Dokkan battle video. So I was sitting here today and I was like, you know what I haven't done in a while on this channel? A straight up gameplay video. Just me playing the game, talking to you guys about life and having a good time. So what better way to bring that back to the channel than with a showcase of my rainbow LR Gogeta on still the hardest event on global, Super Battle Road. So that's what we're gonna do today. There's the Gogeta, looking like a freaking badass. This is the overall super physical team that we're bringing. I think it looks pretty sweet. And these are the items. We don't think, mm, I don't think we really need them that much because I have run through this event multiple times. I'm actually trying to get 20 runs done with this specific team so that I can get that dupe for the LR Kit Gohan. And it doesn't really take too much. Honestly, it really doesn't. You guys remember a time when Super Battle Road was actually a challenge? Because <laughs> It hasn't been for a while. That's what it feels like. It hasn't been for a while. We're gonna go with this Raditz first because as you guys may or may not know, um, the HP gets lower and lower as you go down the line from left to right. So Vegeta will have the highest HP, Raditz will have the lowest, so we always start with the rightmost guy when we're attacking. And uh, this rotation looks pretty good. We're gonna go with that. Take some of the orbs for our Gogeta, who's gonna get an Ultra Super off. Super awesome. And that should do it for the other guys as well. But yeah, as I was saying, Super Battle Road was really hard back in the day when it first came out of JP. I remember watching all these YouTubers just struggling really, really hard to beat these events. And they were like, yo, it, it, I don't know, it was just like really funny. Like they were like, yo, like this event is too hard. Nobody can beat it because they're so used to just breezing through every single event in the game. And I just really enjoyed watching these videos of guys failing over and over again. Maybe it was a little sadistic, maybe it's because at the time I, <laughs> I didn't have my own YouTube channel yet, so I didn't really know the pain of like trying to make content for this for Super Battle Road and also dying over and over again. But anyways, it was funny to me, I enjoyed that, but nowadays, of course, you know, things are much easier. As you can see, we're almost done with this first stage. There's only four stages in each Super Battle Road run, right? And we're almost done with the first one. Um, why don't I put Vegito on the front here actually to take some of those hits and counter? And you can have those, but basically, you know, it's, it's it's a bit of a joke these days. Since ever since we got some more OP units, I remember the first time Super Battle Road became kind of a joke was when LR Vegeta Blue and Strength um, Vegeta and Bulma came out. Those two combined on the Super SDR team made that stage an absolute breeze, like super super easy. And then you know, since the release of things like LR Gogeta and LR Vegito. Those stages are like super, it's just it's just not a challenge anymore. Like honestly, I rarely have to use more than two items through a run, and I probably will have to for this one because obviously I'm filming, and they're gonna make it harder for me. RNGs is gonna be not nearly as nice as it normally is, but I'm, I'm, I swear, like usually it takes me at most like three items and maybe t 10 to 12 minutes to clear through each um, run. So I'm actually, I'm pretty sure I'm getting close to finishing it 20 times now with this level or with this team just because of how quickly I can run through it. Um, and obviously LR Gogeta is an absolute beast. Even if you don't have your rainbowed, you don't need a rainbowed Gogeta to actually clear through this, no problem. Having a rainbow one does help with those crits and additionals, but nonetheless, if you have a just one copy of the LR Gogeta and a solid, like a decent, not even optimal, just a solid super physical team, up, no problem. If you guys haven't tried it yet, if you have a Gogeta, then give it a shot, throw a team together, and especially if you have a Vegito team, yo, Vegito can clear through Super Battle Road even easier than Gogeta can. So Frieza should be dead next turn, and then King Cold won't be, won't take too much. I'm actually gonna do Senzu Beans here, or heal up, because I don't want to die in the middle of my showcase, but I, I think we, I think we're fine. But I just want to show you guys how freaking easy this is. Um, but aside from that, I'm curious actually to see what you guys are doing with the game right now or to hear what you guys are doing with the game. Just let me know in the comments down below what you guys are doing right now because for me personally, I'm kind of running out of things to do with Dokkan at the moment because we are at the tail end of the 3th anniversary and you know, there's not much not much to do now. We, we got the banners, the LR banners that is, we got the Ginyu Force team done unless you're still grinding that. If you slacked a little bit on the first week, you have... A lot of people keep asking me, like, yo, I, I didn't didn't farm Birder, I didn't farm Goldo, I didn't farm Raccoon, whatever. Am I screwed? No, you're not screwed. <laughs> Actually, it's back every single week, so it's on rotation, so you guys have forever, really, to farm it. But if you guys were done with that the first week, like I did, and were just, like, really excited to do it, and got it done, 
then you're you're really kind of out of things to do at this point, right? And I'm just curious, like, what are you guys what are you guys doing now? What are you doing with the game? Are you are you playing Dokkan a lot less? Are you playing other games? To me personally, I started playing uh, some other gacha games like Bleach Brave Souls. I've been having so much fun with Bleach Brave Souls. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, definitely definitely give it a shot because it is. I mean, if you're a Bleach fan, that is at least because I'm I was a huge Bleach fan back in the day. Never really continued like all the way with the manga. I watched most of the anime, but I know the manga extends beyond the anime by quite a bit. Haven't haven't you know kept up, but I still have a lot of fun with it. I still recognize most of the characters. So if you're a Bleach fan, go check that out. I've also been playing. Well, I haven't yet, but I am gonna start playing Naruto Blazing because. People are telling me that their second year anniversary is coming out. And you know that anniversaries always bring good things, just like Dokkan one did. Um, Bleach Brave Souls just had the anniversary. I think it's just just ended, and a lot of great things from that as well. And you know, anniversaries are a great time so to jump into any kind of game. So I'm definitely gonna give that a shot. You guys want me to? A lot of you in the comments have been telling me to do it. So you know, your your wish has been granted. I'm gonna be checking out Blazing. I'll do at least a couple summoning videos with the pearls. Pearls? You know, there's so many different things, man, like freaking Dragon Stones, Shinobite Chrono Crystals, like Ninja Pearls, um, Spear Orbs, like I can't keep track of all these different currencies. But anyways, I believe it's Pearls, so I'm gonna do some summons with those and see what we pull, and you know, if things go well and I'm enjoying the game, then maybe I'll just do more content for it in the future. But you can keep an eye out for that, I'll, I'll obviously still more Bleach Brave Souls content on the way because I'm just enjoying that game so much that... I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. And look look at this, I'm, I'm like talking to you guys the whole time, I'm barely paying attention to the game, and we're still just cruising through it like it's nothing. I mean, they're still doing damage to us, they're still doing damage, and if I wasn't paying any attention to it, sure, we would die, but it, it, it's really hard to die if you're paying even like a smidge of attention. Here we go, um, why don't we put Vegito here so he can take those counters. And I think that actually his counters enough will be enough to kill the first guy alone. And then we're gonna move over to the second guy with the Gogeta. He will probably take care of him, probably. Hope we don't, I hope we don't get super in the beginning. So this counter should take care of the first guy. Yeah, oh, oh. okay. This one, this counter, yep, we got a crit, there you go. Absolute beast. <laughs> but yeah, um, we've been playing some other games. Also, I've been thinking of kind of doing like other kind of content, kinds of content on this channel as well. Um, I Oh, oh, exciting news. I did start playing Dragon Ball Legends again for those of you who are Dragon Ball Legends fans. Um, I originally dropped it because number one, I was losing interest in it. And number two, I lost my account. You know, or if you guys, you know, follow me, you guys know that I did lose my account a little while ago when I dropped a really heavy dumbbell on my phone and I lost my Dokkan account. That was the most, like the worst thing. And I also lost my Legends account as well as some other games that really don't matter too much to me. I don't really care about losing some of the other accounts, but I did care about losing my Dokkan account. I got that back, but apparently Dragon Ball Legends doesn't have an account retrieval system like Dokkan does. Did I die? I didn't die, good, okay. <laughs> Sometimes when I see KO, when I'm in a video talking and I see KO, I'm like, okay, I died. Obviously, because that, that's what happens all the time. We're good, and we're, we're, we're on the final stage already. I, it feels like no time has passed. At least to me, it feels like no time has passed, but maybe to you guys, it felt like eternity. But nonetheless, we're almost done this, and we should actually get a Dokkan attack off. I'm gonna try to get a Dokkan attack off with the Gogeta. Um, let's use the Senzu Bean here, just so we don't get supered. And well, we will. We, if we get super, it'll be fine because we have a lot of HP. Um, here we go. Yeah, you can take that, and you can take that. But yeah, like Legends doesn't have an account retrieval system like Dokkan does, so I wasn't able to like fill out some form and just get have them get back to me with my account details. And I was like, you know what? I was losing interest in the game anyway, so screw it. I'm not playing anymore. But recently, my friend, he has been playing a lot, and he did kind of convince me a little bit to jump back into the game. And also, Bardock. The news came out that Bardock and First Form Frieza... First Form Frieza is cool, but Bardock is coming out as well, and I would just... Yo, I love Bardock, man. Like, I need that Bardock. And also, he's a counter to the Broly in the game right now that was, like, running rampant in PvP. So having that um, Bardock to counter the Broly will be really fun as well, just to press some Broly's in PvP on that game, so I'm very excited. I, I'm i jumping in, and um, 
what I want to let you guys know is that actually tomorrow, if you're watching the video the day it's released, tomorrow, well actually no, it might be tonight, depending on when I release it. Basically, uh, <laughs> August 10th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be live streaming my summons on the Bardock banner. I believe it will be out by then. Hopefully it will be out by then. If it's not, then just disregard this entire message. But, um, yeah, I will, I'm planning to do like a big, big live summons for the Bardock with something like, I don't know, like 12,000, 15,000 Chrono Crystals. And it's going to be this, you know, just, just, just like a celebration of me getting back into the game. We're going to do this Dokkan mode now. Hopefully I don't miss anything. I've been pretty good about these so far. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. All right, we got it. So that's going to do a lot of damage. I think we should clear it by now. But if not, then next turn for sure. But yeah, I'm going to be doing a big live summons for the Bardock and for the Firstborn Frieza. And it's going to be my big re-entry into Dragon Ball Legends. And then from there on, you guys can expect more content for Dragon Ball Legends, um, you know, for the foreseeable future. So we just finished the stage. Gogeta just took care of business. We literally used two Senzu Beans for the entire run, I think. I'm going to have to check that, but I, I believe we only used two healing items and that's it. So, like I said, simple, easy, super battle road. It's a joke. We need those new new stages like right now. Oh, I just missed it. I was, I was going to check what items I used, but then I accidentally clicked OK. And now we're screwed. Um, I cleared an event though. I cleared a, cleared a mission. Oh, just clear stage three times. I was like, yo, did I? That, was that the 20th time? Or that was a three. 20th time that I cleared that stage because I really need that extra dupe of LR Gohan to open that dupe path. And eventually I want to rainbow that kid, but I don't see myself beating a lot of the extreme stages quite yet. I can probably beat extreme physical, maybe extreme AGL, maybe extreme tech, but you know, it, it, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to do those. But, anyways. So that's going to do it for me today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then maybe, just maybe, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. But as always, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.